Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University and Little Bird, issue number one. All right, it took me a while to get my hands on this one because I just wasn't going out to the comic book store, but finally got my hands on it. And wow, wow, I am so glad that I did. Wow, I am so freaking glad that I did. Let's get right into this, guys. This is Little Bird, The Fight for Elder's Hope, chapter one, created by Ian Bertram and Darcy Van uh, Polgeist. Uh, Darcy Van Pol uh, Polar Geest is the writer. Ian Bertram is the artist. Matt Hollingsworth is the guy on colors. Uh, Ad Aditya Bidikar on letters, sorry, and uh, Ben Didier on design. Little Bird was written on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Muslim people. So yes, this is First Nations, first image comic book, but um, what do you call it? It's uh, First Nations land, so up in uh, around Vancouver area. In fact, this actually starts off in the, the, the Rocky Mountains, the Canadian Rockies. So there's this, there's this uh, little native girl. Her name is um, Little Bird, hence the title. And her mom is going off to try and rescue the axe. The axe is not just the weapon this guy uses, but this guy, he looks like a freaking axe. He's huge. <coughs> um, this is a futuristic alternate version of the, uh, I guess, the, the fight for, for native lands here in Canada, just all across the Americas. Uh, it's it's very different. The, the, the here's where some people are going to wind up being offended, and literally, oh freaking well, deal with it. You know what I'm saying? You you still have your religion, you still have your people. Mm, nobody's forgotten that you exist, if if any of you still exist at all. So um, the in this particular case, it's the Catholics amongst the Christians, but nonetheless, it, it, there does seem to be um, variant sects here. But for now, the, the Catholics own New Vatican. This is basically the Americas. So what if the, the, the religion, in my head canon, it's what if the Inquisition was successful, <laughs> all right? What if the French Revolution didn't do what it was intended to do? So the, the, the far religious people have uh, overtaken the Americas and there's this fight and the religious people the the by religious i mean the the christian types they've taken to body modifications and uh various forms along those it, it feels a lot like brave new world to me if you've ever read that i don't know if there's ever been a movie for that but there should be definitely should be especially nowadays so she, the mother of Little Bird, says, I should be back in a couple of days. Oh, three days pass, and she doesn't come back. So Little Bird decides to trek out on her own. Her village has been destroyed. If you look up the Muscogee people, uh, the, the, the Muscogee people, they, um, they used to have 40 villages over several miles of land. That's uh, kilometer, kilometers is close enough. Things like 0.8 kilometers to one mile. But uh, for the most part, all of that gone in reality. Uh, in here, they're still fairly strong, but, you know. So this little girl goes out, and she's going to take up the, the mission now to try and rescue the axe, because maybe the axe is supposed to be able to legendarily save the people when it's time. This is an incredible story. There's, you know, the body modifications are really weird. The... The understanding of the way that uh, these people think, like there's, there is some talk about Jesus and the like, but for the most part, it's about the body modifications. It shows that again, if you're going to be offended, you're just going to be offended. Ain't nobody who could help you out with that. But the 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 writer does go out of their way to show that this isn't the standard. Uh, uh, Christianity or even Catholicism as we know it today. It's radically different because, again, it was unchecked. And while at the same time, uh, there's been plenty of sciences that have come up and body mods seem to be a, a pretty big thing. 
um, uh, psycho psychogenic drugs seem to be a big thing. There's there's a lot to digest here. Anyhow, it's a very strange comic book. This isn't something you can just read once and be like, oh, cool, and then put it to the side. Man, you'd be missing out on so much, and I really hope that nobody does that to themselves because the only person you're hurting is you. <laughs> Make no mistake on that. That being said, this, wow, when you read it and you you try to understand it, even certain parts, it's not too hard to understand, but you're still going to say, wait, what? This does not follow any standard comic book format. This is a beautiful and unique comic book. I'm not saying everybody's going to understand it, but I think that everybody should give it a shot. The uh, Again, the, the, the Christianity, the Catholicism has been changed enough. Mind you, you know, I'm, I'm mostly Italian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mostly Sicilian Italian. So, yeah, I, I, I was baptized Catholic. Um, I'm not in the slightest bit offended by this. Uh, and, and yeah, like they changed so much of this, so much of, you know, what it means to be Christian has been changed here. Uh, while at the same time, my, my <laughs> small attachment to my native roots, oh my God, this book just does me so, so well because there is so much tragedy in this. It's, it's absurd. Anyway, guys, definitely consider checking this out. I absolutely recommend this. Uh, there, If you read the comic book carefully, you'll see there's some parts in here that I believe you will enjoy in the utmost. It's amazing. This is an amazing comic book. Guys, I'm, I'm not going to keep on lavishing over this. I want you to buy the comic book, you to read the comic book, and you to lavish over it. It's really that good. This is one of those kind of comic books that should absolutely be supported. And thank you, Image Comic Books, for allowing this comic book to be made. Beautiful. Guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.